Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Eons of Battle. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make some fun road bases. Here are the paints I'll be using and the materials can be found in the description below. The first thing I did was I measured out how much pink foam I will need. I wanted to use this foam so I could get some dramatic angles on my road bases. I used a hobby saw to cut what I needed and then I used some Gorilla Glue to glue it down to the model. I trimmed the foam closer to the base and not wanting to get too much height, I trimmed down the foam and sanded them smooth with a little bit of sandpaper. And then I sanded the edges of the foam flush with a nail file. When it was time for the cork, I marked out what I needed and then broke it off with my fingers to get a nice random edge. Then I applied some more Gorilla Glue and attached my cork. I made some breaks in the cork to simulate cracks in the asphalt and to give a little bit of variety. I trimmed the edges so that they would be more flush by tearing away cork with my fingers and I also went in and gouged out some cork to add some potholes. Then I used some putty to fill the gaps between the cork and the foam. This is important because the cork tends to look like cork, so anything you can do to hide that is important. Just don't use putty that is lacquer because it can eat away the foam. I would suggest spackle or deluxe perfect plastic putty. I also applied putty to the top of the cork to give the impression of hard asphalt. Then I applied some wood glue over the putty surrounding the road so that I could apply some fine grain sand. This will look like it was ripped straight from the road. With the modeling done, it was time to paint. I primed each one with some black primer through my airbrush, but you could also do this with a rattle can. Then I began dry brushing some Games Workshop Eschen Gray. Then I moved on to some Vallejo Stonewall Gray, and I used this mostly on the edges and cracks to bring them out. Next, to really make my road look real, I began masking some lane markings. To do this, I used a fine four millimeter hobby mask and finished off with painter's tape. And I wanted the yellow lines to have some texture, so I mixed in some spackle to give the paint some real body. And I gave the bases each a few stippled coats with an old paintbrush. And now the most fun part, demasking and seeing if it worked. And it did. The painting is done. The only thing left is to paint the rim of the base black. And there you have three Road Rage bases. We make tutorials like these as fast as we can, and if you find them helpful, you might consider supporting us over on Patreon. And you'll get some behind the scenes and exclusive content as well. If you don't like the look of asphalt, you could check out our big bulky bricks on a bold boss base. Find this video and lots more like it on our basing playlist, where you'll find tons of easy and unique bases. But that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching.